Hey, what's going on, people? This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you once again with another fast and easy, quick uh, Akai MPC software tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to save your own programs. All right, and another, once again, another term for programs is drum kit. How to save your own drum kits. Now, the reason why you may want to uh, save your own, you know, personal drum kits is so you don't have to spend the time every time you open up the MPC software uh, so that you don't have to spend the time starting from scratch and going through gigabytes and gigabytes worth of sounds just to drag and drop to your pads. All right. So over the years, uh, from me being uh, an MPC user, I've saved my own personal drum kit uh, of my favorite sounds that I always use as the basic starting point, pretty much the foundation for putting my tracks together. So it's a collection of all my favorite snare drums, kick drums, hand claps, hi-hats, uh, cymbal crashes, toms, uh, other miscellaneous percussion instruments like sleigh bells, tambourines, wood blocks, triangles, and then other non-percussion instruments like some of my favorite horn hits or guitar licks. So you don't have to spend the time trying to put a drum kit together every single time you start up a project. You know, it's, it's cool and convenient to just have all your favorite sounds already ready to roll. Uh, so then I'll usually build my starting point from that drum kit and then I'll start adding on other sounds from my other uh, sample libraries or start replacing some of the sounds that I uh, may have used in the initial foundation of the track. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do right now is just grab just anything. I'm just going to grab multiple sounds. I don't care what they are. Just to uh, have a bunch of uh, samples on the pads and this is what we're going to use initially as uh, the program or drum kit that we're going to save, okay? So once again, just grabbing anything. I'll just grab like a total of eight sounds here. And of course, don't forget your, uh, you know, your, your programs, your drum kits can be huge because uh, you have all of these banks and every bank has 16 pads. So I can put 16 sounds on these initial pads, another 16 on pad bank B, another 16 on pad bank C, and so on and so on. And don't forget that you can layer sounds. You can layer, I believe, a total of four sounds on each pad. So yeah, you can have a huge uh, collection of programs and drum kits, okay? So we just have these initial eight sounds here. So let's go ahead and save this as our uh, program. Uh, first thing I wanna do is just rename this program. Right click it, click rename. I'll call this Wolf drum kit all right so uh, all we got to do is go up to file select save current program windows gonna open up first thing we do is uh, select a destination so I'll just save this yeah you, know, you can save it anywhere on your computer on an external hard drive whatever I'll just save this right to the desktop for right now uh, and I'm gonna create a new folder so it's gonna put all this stuff in a in a new folder by itself and I'll also call that folder Wolf Drum Kit. All right, let me click OK and save. So now my program, my drum kit, it has saved everything in this folder, which it has placed on the desktop. So you can see all my sounds in here, plus the program file. So now let's go ahead and quit out of the MPC software. I don't need to save because I just saved everything. And let's open it back up. So now you open up the NPC software. And if I want to reload that new drum kit of mine, I'll just go right to the desktop. See a Wolf drum kit. You can just show just the samples we want, just the program, whatever. This is the program, the XPM file. So all I have to do is just drag and drop this anywhere in this section. I can dra dra drag and drop it right on the pads, dra uh, drag and drop it right in the program section. It doesn't matter. And it automatically loads all my stuff back up. So that's it. That's how you save a program, a.k.a. a drum kit, and reload it back up. All right, that's it. It's your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.